Hello everyone! As promised in my previous video, I'm going to present you my last DIY CNC router with automatic tool change and vacuum table. This one is my previous CNC router, it has been working great for almost two years, but I was lacking a vacuum table and I was having consistency issues on thin materials that tends to lift off from the table. Uh, I was also spending a lot of time changing tools and adjusting the Z8 after each tool change. So I started to dream about ATC spindles and after some googling I found one within my budget. It's a GJL80 slash 2.2 R30, capable of 30,000 RPM, ceramic bearings, 2.2 kilowatts and ISO 20 tool holder. When I received that spindle, I was like a kid opening these Christmas gifts, but I had uh, no machine to try it on, so I had first to design something. I started with the table, I used a mix of 80 by 80 and 80 by 40 mm um, aluminium slot profile. I wanted the machine to stand on the floor, so I added some legs and 45 degrees bracing. Then came the gantry, which was a 160 mm by 80 mm section. I wanted the gantry to extend on both sides so I could place additional tools on each side of the spindle and still get full table reachability. And finally the vacuum table made out of uh, three layers of MDF. I started assembling the machine upside down and then when it was ready uh, we flipped it around. I used my old CNC router to mill all the custom plates, uh, custom aluminium plates needed for the rest of the build. And here I'm adjusting the, the height of the two gantry supports. the linear bearing holder. So there are two linear bearings on each side. And here is the Y, one side of the Y axis moving by hand. I received my side channel blower used for the vacuum table and I was doing some tests to see the, the consumption with no load and at full load. It's uh, around 2.2 kilowatts at full load. On the bottom you can see the Mesa 7i96 board with uh, an extension board on its right for more IOs. They are connected to the computer with the Ethernet cable. And then in the middle row you have five stepper drivers and one power line filter. On the top row you have a 24 volt power supply used for all input outputs, relays and pneumatic valves. Then the two black ones are 40 volt unregulated power supplies for the stepper drivers. And finally two VFDs, one for the vacuum table and the last one for the spindle. This is the aluminium plate holding the Z axis. I used the previous CNC to place all the holes and then manually drilled them and tapped them. Assembling done! Let's start the vacuum table. This is the first layer with three inlet ports distributing the vacuum over 24 ports. I used some PVC tubing to connect everything together. It's not even glued, it's just holes on its own. The upper layer distributes the vacuum for the 24 ports to all those little channels. Both layers are glued together and screwed onto the table. Those are all the fittings used for the pneumatics. There are 8 pneumatic valves in total, 4 on the top connected after an oiler and 4 on the bottom with just clean air. Leveling the table so it's flat relative to the spindle. Manually playing with the valves to understand how to program the tool change. Measuring the runout of the spindle plus tool holder. 
retractable probe. And finally, I can set the gantry using a set square and the probe. And then I adjust the home offset of both uh, Y axis via software. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to see it in action, you can have a look at my other video milling aluminium. And thanks for watching, and bye bye!